Hey guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the SET Awards celebrating science, engineering, and technology and entertainment. We're going to be talking to some of the biggest brains in entertainment. All right. So uh, let's talk about the awards show. What brings you out today? Well, I'm presenting one of the awards today. Do you know what you're presenting? <laughs> sort of. I think I do. I'm presenting for Marvel. Okay. And it's based on their achievement specifically for, I think, some of the graphic imagery. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I, I, I really don't know because I'm the pinch hitter today, the guy that was presenting. Oh, that's right. He's not feeling well, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm here. Eh, we'll see. Well, welcome, and you look great. No, thank you. <laughs> so um, you are a creature and concept designer? I would say more appropriate is concept design, uh, and which covers creature, okay. character, costume, props, etc. That's so awesome. And you've been involved with so many crazy, like, unbelievable movies. Like, how did you get involved in that? I've been very, very fortunate. Yeah. It was always a dream to do it. Oh, really? But, you know, you can dream, and then to actually achieve that dream are two totally different things. I was very fortunate that James Cameron actually threw me a bone, uh, and I heard about Avatar, mm -hmm. and that they were looking for artists to work in Avatar, and I thought, you know, it's like buying a lottery ticket. Yeah. You don't know if you're going to win, but I might as well submit my portfolio, and I was one of the, the four first people to work with Jim at his house designing creatures for Avatar, and that rolled into a three-year job yeah. that changed my career entirely. Oh, definitely, I was, yeah. I was actually an industrial designer working on wheelchairs and bicycles and sporting goods, okay. and I thought, well, this should be fun. And here I am now. So, I mean, what was the collaborative effort like working on that movie? Well, it was all Jim. Oh. You know, it was really at the beginning because it was a small team. Jim and four of us at his house. Mm -hmm. So it was really cozy and small. So from a collaboration standpoint, yeah, there was four of us working on everything at the beginning. But Jim, he is a designer. He's an artist. He's kind of everything, writer. So he was at the helm, and he was essentially telling us what he would like, but the challenge of any concept designer is to be able to extract the vision mm -hmm. out of your boss yeah. and sometimes infuse it with your, your version of it. And uh, Jim was a wonderful collaborator. That's so cool. So very cool. So you're also a judge on Face Off, right? Yes. How did you get involved in that show? I would like to say that probably because of having worked on so many wonderful films. You're kind of well known. <laughs> well, it's, it's not so much I'm well known, it's that I've had the experience of working on quite a variety of things and having my own personal judgment of what good design might be. And again, it's personal judgment. Okay. It doesn't mean that what I'm saying is finite <laughs> and accurate. So from that standpoint, they brought me on as a designer versus a makeup artist, because I don't do makeup. Okay. I design things that could be turned into makeups, but I'm really a designer. Okay. So I'm critiquing mostly design versus makeup and makeup application. So cool. That is so awesome. It's really a treat. I've learned so much. Oh, I Just like, I'm also a teacher, and that is where I learned the most about design, was actually teaching what it is that I sure. thought that I knew. Yeah. So once you're asked the questions that you don't know, that you're forced to actually go back and figure out the answer and you just get better as a result. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. Have fun today. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite science-based television show.